Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Halloween Town. Now, before I review Halloween Town, my guest star, Kevin Falk, is going to be reviewing this movie. So, Kevin, take it away. Thank you, Tony, and hey guys, it's Kevin again, and I am here to do two reviews on Tony's channel of two movies that are very near and dear to me on the Halloween season. These are movies that I definitely really loved, and uh, when Tony asked me to do a review, I really didn't know what to review, but then two movies came to mind because I review these movies back on my channel, and uh, they're really shitty because it's back when I was really a really bad reviewer and I had like a high-pitched voice and shit like that. You guys can check those out, but I want to wash the taste of those reviews just out so, so you guys can see these reviews, and uh... I'm going to be doing reviews for the Halloween Town series, but only the first two, because I don't remember the third one at all, and the fourth one's a piece of shit. We all know that. Uh, we don't really talk about the fourth one, but uh, the first two are some of my favorite Halloween movies of all time. I honestly think they are really great movies. I really do love them, and uh, for this video, we will be talking about the 1998 um, horror comedy classic, I, I think it's a classic, you know, Disney Channel classic, Halloween Town. And again, this is a Disney Channel movie, but I think it's one of the few Disney Channel movies that it's just a really great movie in general. There are some parts of this movie that are a bit cheesy, but let's get to the plot of Halloween Town, which I honestly really do love the plot of this movie. Basically, this movie focuses on the Cromwell family, and they basically are this family that's, they're kind of dysfunctional, because you have the character of Marnie Cromwell, um, and basically she is very much into Halloween, and she really wants to go out um, for Halloween, while her mother Gwen is completely against it. She doesn't want her to go out at all, you know, she's just telling her it's not safe, and that's just not the right thing to do, and, you know, her brother, D Marnie's brother Dylan, is, like, very much just, like, kind of boring, he's not really into the holiday at all, um... And Gwen basically doesn't really even celebrate Halloween. Like, even even Sophie, the little sister, is not out trick-or-treating on Halloween. They just don't celebrate Halloween at all, and uh, Marty isn't sure why. Well, one day, their grandmother, Aggie, comes to visit, who only visits them every so often. She rarely ever visits them. And eventually, Marnie starts to realize that her grandmother, Aggie, and Gwen are both from this place called Halloween Town, and her mother is a witch, and Gwen has tried to keep her kids away from that. And then when Aggie tries to go back to to Halloween Town, Marnie follows her, and so and so do Dylan and Sophie, and basically they go to Halloween Town. Eventually, Gwen follows them, and that basically is the plot of the movie. Um, and I think it's a really fun plot. I definitely really do love it. And uh, this is a r just a really fun movie that I think is a very enjoyable, and I think it really is for the whole family. It's really a movie that I think the whole family will enjoy. And I think the acting here is really strong. I think something that works really well is the acting. Everyone's really having a lot of fun with this movie. Especially Kimberly J. Brown as Marnie, who I think has a lot of charm to this role. She really is great in this role, I have to say. I think she really does a great job. What I really love about Marnie, though, is that you do really care about her character. You know, you understand that, like, she just wants to have fun. She wants to be a typical teenager and kind of just wants to have fun in life. And I really love about her character and the way that she kind of, like, rebels against her mother is really great. She really is a great female lead, I have to say. I definitely really do admire that about her character. And I think she definitely does a very good job, um, in this movie. I mean, there's some really fun scenes with her character, and uh, she really did a great job. But by far, the highlight of this movie is Debbie Reynolds as Aggie. I mean, she steals every scene she is in. She's so great. Um, one of the most memorable things about the movie. I mean, without her, the movie would not be as good as it was. And you can just tell that Debbie Reynolds is just having so much fun in this role. And I think she really does a phenomenal job in this movie. She's so funny at points. And when you find out, really, like, why she's a witch and what she's hiding, it's really interesting. I definitely really love the better character. And I think she did a very good job. And the chemistry between her and Marnie are really great. You really do believe that they're grandmother and daughter. And you also really do get to see, you know, she kind of takes this as a chance for her to connect with her grandmother granddaughter, which is something she really hasn't gotten to do. She rarely sees her granddaughter. She had to keep all these secrets from her, and she kind of uses this as an opportunity to connect with her, which I definitely really love seeing, and there are some really great scenes between them. And Judith Hogg as uh, Gwen is also really great, and you, you understand why she just was never really into the whole witchcraft thing. You know, she wasn't into it. She's completely against it. She obviously, she wants to protect her kids. She's a bit overprotective, but I never found her annoying because she's just a concerned mother. That really is what she is. She's concerned. Just witchcraft really isn't her thing, and and that's something I like. And a lot of Disney Channel movies nowadays, they make the parents, like, really annoying. Gwen was never an annoying character for me, rather than she was just more of just against magic. And I can understand that. I mean, magic is something that can be very dangerous for some people. It could go really badly or really not as good as you want it to. And I think she definitely does a very good job. I definitely really do love her character in this movie. And she really was fantastic. And Joey Zimmerman is so great as Dylan. Dylan is the um, definition of an annoying brother. I mean, he's annoying. He's boring. I mean, he 
he's the definition of boring. He thinks Arbor Day should be a sell a holiday that we celebrate. And it's it's actually very funny. But um he just does a great job. They did a great job hiring, you know, kind of like the nerdy kid, and I thought he was very good with that, and it was very fun. And also, Emily Roski as Sophie is adorable. I mean, you can't help but think she is an adorable little girl. She's a great, she does a great job in this movie, and it's really cool to see her um, discover Halloween Town as well. And it's also really cool to see Dylan kind of come out of his shell. He kind of is, you know, out of his element when he's in Halloween Town. He's forced to believe stuff, and I thought he did a very good job. And the only other character I'm going to talk about, well, also there's uh, Robin Thomas's Calabar, who I can't really say much about in this movie because his character is very mysterious, but you know that him and Gwen did have a thing once and it didn't really work out as well. Um, and you do think that there is going to be a twist that happens with his character that doesn't happen, and I'm happy they didn't do that, but I thought he also was really great. Um, especially toward the end of this movie, I will talk about that. But Reno Romano as Benny is just such a memorable character. He's There's not much to him. He's a skull that drives a taxi, but He's one of the best characters of the movie. He's a lot of fun, and uh, I definitely really... He really represents the fun aspect of this movie. And everyone, I think, in this movie really did a great job. All of the characters in Halloween Town are all very memorable and very fun to watch, and it's something I definitely really did love seeing. The directing here by Dwayne Dunham, Dunham, I think was really great. He did a great job at making this just, like, fun and showing that, kind of seeing tr seeing these monsters as just having, you know, being in a, in a typical um, town, I think is really interesting, and it's really fun to watch a point. See, he has some really great stuff, but he wasn't afraid to make the movie dark when it needed to be. The movie does get quite dark towards the end, and I definitely really did love that. I mean, throughout the movie, there's just something going Going on. People keep like disappearing, people aren't acting like themselves, and you're not truly sure what's going on. And that's something I definitely really loved about the movie is the mystery aspect of it. I think his directing was definitely really great with that. But the screenplay of this movie is also really great. The story, first of all, I found very interesting. I think the story to anyone's very interesting. I mean, this the secret, you know, the family secret, it's really they really drag it out throughout this movie, and I definitely really do love that. And it takes a while for us to fully understand what's going on. And that's something that I think is really great. It forces kids to pay attention. Attention. A lot of kids, you know, don't have very long attention spans, but I think for a movie like this, because of how interesting it is, I think kids will say, you know, um, keep paying attention throughout the whole movie, and it really carries the movie very well. Um, I also feel that, you know, there's this great segment in the third half of the movie um, where Marnie has to go on this quest, and there's a lot of really fun stuff there. Um, but also the interaction just between all of them is really great, and I definitely really love that. I think the writing is very strong in that regard. Just, it's a very strong write term movie in terms of writing in general. I really do love the writing to this movie. I think it truly is something great. The cinematography, I think, is actually great for this movie. It is a TV film, but it looks great for TV. I mean, the monsters look like monsters. They really do. But you don't see them as monsters. You see them more as, like, friendly characters, and that's something I really do like. I mean, they are scary when they need to be scary, but, um, I think they look really fun, and I think it's really fun to watch, and that's something I really did enjoy seeing. I also liked in the movie that they didn't try to make any of the characters, like, horror movie characters. Like, they don't, there's no Freddy in this movie, there's no Jason in this movie. The, the, you know, Frankenstein is not Frankenstein, Dracula is not Dracula. That's something I thought was really great, because it was their opportunity to basically make it its own thing, and I think it was very well done the way they did that. Um, and I definitely really love about the movie. And then, of course, there is the twist, and I'm gonna, this is a minor sport if you guys haven't seen Halloween Town, which, uh, you guys definitely should, it's a very fun movie. But, of course, we do find out that Calabar is, in fact, the person that is responsible for this curse, and that he is the reason why this is all happening, and I think this one, Calabar is a very menacing villain. You do kind of understand what he's doing and why he's upset about all this. You know, it sort of is Gwen's fault, but I thought he was really great, really scary towards the end of this movie, definitely, especially when he gets, um the thing to light the, the the thing to light the jack o' lantern I don't remember what it was called, but you know how he's trying to like light the jack o' lantern. Um the tail talesman, that's what it's called. When he has the talesman, I mean he becomes really powerful and you don't know if Marnie's gonna be able to defeat him. But I thought he did a really great job in the movie and that whole scene where Marnie defeats him, I mean it's really I was on the edge of my scene. And I definitely really love that. Also when we find out that Luke actually wasn't a bad person, because you know, we are to believe that Luke, this character, is kind of like, you know, he seems like a dick at first, but we're also led to believe that he's very dark and he's actually not. He is actually, you know, um I like that we find out that he is a human and he's actually 
actually supposed to be a gall. I, I think he's supposed to be a troll um, because Calabar put a spell on him that turned him back into a human. And obviously, Marnie fixes that. And I definitely really love that. And the scene where Marnie um, is with Luke, I mean, definitely they are hinting that they're going to probably get together in the next movie when if she comes back to Halloween Town. But I definitely really love that. I think the ending of the movie is really fun as well. Also, the score to this film is just so great. You know, the dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. It's just a really fun score. I really love it, especially whenever I, I always picture that score in my head when I think the Halloween Town films are just them going through Halloween Town and seeing everyone. It's it's really creative in that regard. Um, and I definitely really do love that. And something else I really love is that the editing to the movies, it's a really short movie. It's not a long movie by any means. It's a movie that really goes by very fast. And it's a movie that you can get really into, definitely. And that's one of the reasons why I really do love Halloween Town as much as I do. And overall, guys, Halloween Town is just a really fun movie. I definitely really do love it. I recommend you guys definitely check it out. It does have some things that I definitely really do love. It it, uh, my only real complaint, I would say, with the movie, um, if I had to really pick a complaint, is that I do feel that the movie can get a bit cheesy at times. That's really it. It is a bit cheesy at points, and I think it could have been just a little bit less cheesy. That really is it. But other than that, guys, I really think Halloween Town is a very fun movie. I definitely really do love it. And if I had to rate the Halloween Town, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 or an A-. minus. I definitely really love it. It's a very fun movie. And it's something I always look forward to during the Halloween season. I really do love these movies, and I recommend you guys check them out as well because it really is something very fun. Um, but overall, guys, this is my review of Halloween Town. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Tony, for having me on this channel. I definitely really enjoyed reviewing this movie. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be, I will be reviewing Halloween Town 2 as well, so stay tuned for that. And now, back to Tony. Thank you so much, Kevin, for reviewing Halloween Town. Now, Halloween Town is a very nostalgic movie for me because I remember watching this movie when I was a kid. I remember just growing up with this movie very young and just really loving it. So watching this movie really does bring back memories. And I have to say, I really enjoyed the heck out of Halloween Town. It was really cool of how this movie introduced us to the world of Halloween Town and how it introduced us to these characters. It was really cool to see like some of the creatures that were in Halloween Town, such as that skeleton cab driver. I really enjoyed that character. And there's other really cool characters to go around in this movie and to make it just just a really fun movie. It has really good performances from everyone. I thought everyone did a really good job acting here. Debbie Reynolds is really good here. Kimberly J. Brown as Marnie was really good here. And just everyone else you could tell just really wanted to make this a fun movie. They were having fun with the roles and that's always a nice thing. When you could watch a fun movie but see that the actors involved in the movie are actually having a lot of fun to it. I like some of the magic powers that we would see like from the grandma. You know the grandma is a really awesome character like she was just so energetic and she actually might be my favorite character when it comes to these movies. I really liked each of the kids. You know you have Marnie who is like very adventurous and then you have the little brother Dylan that is pretty much like the mommy's boy and then you have the sweet little girl named Sophie who I also really liked and I guess you can consider her someone that follows the sister and the brother but she was really entertaining i really enjoyed all the characters and you know the actress that plays the mom i thought she did a really nice job i really enjoyed just the overall feel and adventure of halloween town so i really do like how halloween town looks i really like the sets and i really like the characters some of the effects were actually really good too they also have an over the top but enjoyable villain it was very well written it was very well directed you could just tell the writer just want to make this a family friendly fun filled movie and that's really cool on Halloween Town's part because the movie's goal is to just be really fun and that's what it is and it just puts a nice big smile on my face. Now my only problems with Halloween Town personally is just that while some of the effects were actually pretty good other times the effects could look you know, not that great in all honesty. And I get it, it's a Disney Channel original movie. You're not supposed to expect extraordinary effects. But I still thought the effects could have improved, even with the budget for a TV movie. The effect I did think was really bad, however, and it's just one scene where Aggie and Marnie are just flying up in the sky. And when you watch that entire scene, it was obvious that they were in a green screen. Like, they... 
it didn't even look believable that they were flying. It was just obvious green screen effect that did take me out of the movie. Sometimes the film does get cheesy and I don't mind cheesiness. I actually enjoyed most of the cheesiness this film does bring. But there were times where the cheesiness can get forced in my opinion. Then the last problem I did have with Halloween Town is the predictability of who the villain is. You know, I like the villain, he was really enjoyable, but the reveal of the villain I did see coming a mile away. Overall, I really enjoyed Halloween Town. This is a really great movie to watch, especially around the Halloween time. So as you guys can expect, I'm going to give this fun-filled movie three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of Halloween Town. And I want to thank my guest star, Kevin Folk, for coming here to review Halloween Town. Our next review is going to be Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge, and we'll both see you in our review for that. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!